you are going to be using the fields from our custom config pages. We're going to inspect the fields that we already have. We're going to implement those fields inside of the page footer and for that we're going to be using the hook preprocess page and page HTML tweak template. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we already installed the config pages module and we already have the custom config created and the custom config simply has a title and a footer. So we're going to go to manage fields in order to have these values here easily when we want to copy them and we're going to simply jump to the code base of our Drupal instance and in the code base we have a teams folder and there we have a Drupal up team already created. So we're going to create a Drupal up team file. So we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it the name of our team dot team and we're going to be writing PHP here. So let's go ahead and say PHP and we're going to implement a hook function here. So we are saying file and we're saying that here implementing hook functions here and we're going to basically create here the function hook process page and instead of hook we're going to put the name of the team and here we're saying implement hook preprocess page that's good enough and here we're passing variables by reference that's perfect so in order to get the values that we just created in the previous video with the help of the config pages module we're going to be using a service called entity type manager there it is so we're going to just copy the service name and we're going to say storage equals Drupal service and here we're saying the entity type manager and we're going to get storage and we're going to be getting the config pages storage and we're going to say we're loading load and we're going to copy basically the name of the custom config that we created here so custom config we're copying this bit here and we're going to say we're loading it so basically this way we're loading all the fields that we have there and further so we can make it a bit better looking like this that looks much better and we're going to say very variables title would be the storage and then get and we're going to be getting the title here so this is the machine name of the field title so we are saying it here like this and value 
and we're going to do something quite similar for the variables text so we're going to call it basically footer title because it makes more sense and we're going to call it footer text that's perfect and we're going to say storage get the same way we're getting the text as we're getting the title and just value like this and in order to show them we're going to simply say kint variables and then die and now let's go ahead and jump back to the front page and let's clear the cache we have the develop module installed and the kint module so we can just clear the cache from here and the kint should show us the output there it is so here are all the values from the variables in the pre-processed page so the footer title is having our custom footer title value the thing that we created with the help of the config pages and the footer text is also here that's perfect so the last thing we want to do is we want to simply remove this bit here so now let's go ahead and copy the page html tweak from the bartik team and just copy it and then go ahead and create a new folder called templates and we're going to paste it here and inside of this template we're going to use the footer so there is the footer and we're going to simply here render the title and the title we're going to render inside of a h4 just like this and inside of a p tag we're going to render also the footer text just like this that looks quite good so let's go ahead and clear the cache and we see that in our footer we have our custom title and custom text that is coming directly from our custom config so if you like this video please check the links in the description subscribe ask if you have any questions in the comments below and thanks for watching